All right, last weekend I was trying to clean up some leaves. I really haven't been out too much. I had back surgery earlier on in the spring, or end, end of March, actually. And I really haven't been out here doing a whole lot. So I was trying to clean up some leaves, blow some leaves with the mower. And I think I was just trying to get too big of a bite. And it just, it was too much of a, of a load on it. And it just quit. And I thought, well, so I thought I was out of gas. So I look, I lean up, tip the hood up, open the gas. You know, I look down, I could see I had gas in it. Kept cranking it, nothing happened. So I ended up dragging it with the tractor back around here. So I decided to pull off the, uh, just for the heck of it, just pull off the valve cover. Everything else looked like it was working on it. So I pulled off the valve cover and I find this. I had a broken push rod. I took it off and it was just, it was just laying like this. And this one was laying in there like this. Broken. Just This was about where it was and it was just kind of like bent down in there someplace. So I looked on Amazon and I ended up finding, searched around a little bit and I found uh, uh, a new one, new push rod. And I'm just hoping that that's all it needs. I can get this thing back together. Let me pull it around and because I can't get it back on like this. I'm going to have to back this out. So I can't bend over too often. Of This one needs this one needs a little tightening, I think. Actually. <laughs> I think I like that. Good to me. Got to remember, this thing's 20 years old and it's been through the ringer, so I mean, it's not like uh, I've adjusted these many times. Looks like the gasket's still good. I think I put a new gasket on it last year. I got new gaskets in there. I don't, if we don't need to use them. I'm not going to use them. I just want to get this on and see if it will crank over and run. That way I know there's nothing else messed up in it. There we go. There we go and there we go. All right. Let's see. I think I got enough That's good. All right, I was sure hoping uh, that, obviously I knew this was broke, but I was hoping there wasn't anything else messed up down there, the can, I don't know. I, I, I don't know enough about these things to, just to be dangerous, but uh, hoping that the cam wasn't messed up or anything. So. All right, so there's a successful push rod change on the 18 horse uh, Craftsman LT1000. Looked like it was a little low on oil. I'm not add a little bit of oil to it. She wants to cut tonight, or really isn't bad. We cut. She cut last week, and that's what she got done cutting. And then I got on it a little bit and tried to push those leaves, and though I felt it the next day. 
So I don't think I'm going to be doing any cutting for a while. I don't want to mess anything up back there that's not already messed up. Let me put a little oil in them. That ought to do it. Somebody asked me on another, when I did the one at home, what oil I use. And this is the oil I use to get it at Walmart. It's just a 30 weight small engine oil. Plenty for now. I'm starting to use a little oil. A couple years ago, the uh, float stuck in the carburetor and started dumping gas in the uh, crankcase. And she was up cutting in the field. And she, you know, she had headphones on and she wasn't, she doesn't know what to. But evidently, I, I looked up there and I saw it was kind of smoking. And I waved her back in because when you're going, the smoke's kind of going behind you. But she don't pay no attention. So she, I came back in and I, I pulled that uh, dipstick out and it was just full of gas. So I caught it soon enough that it didn't probably score anything up too bad, but it's still, till that time, this thing was, at that time it was probably 18 years old, it never used a drop of oil. I mean, it, I never had to add oil to it. All I did is change it every couple years, maybe once a year, and I never added oil to it. But now I'm having to watch she cuts the front and the back, or I, whoever cuts the front and back. You cut the front and back, I bring it in and just check it and just kind of make sure because, you know, it's running fine. It runs fine, but it's just starting to, starting to use a little oil. And the hotter it gets, the hotter the motor gets, the more oil it seems like it's using. So, But anyway, that's it from here. Thanks for watching.